Look over my shoulder and watch as I create a 30 second nature observation for nature's wild things. See my workflow process in Final Cut Pro X for transforming raw video footage into something ready for publishing. This raw video is from a photo walk on March the 13th, 2017, and it was in one of the parks located in Cabarrus County, North Carolina. And that is in the United States. All right, today's edit session features a brown thrasher from the order of the perching birds in the mockingbirds and thrashers family and I believe we're going to be entertained by his song and uh, let's uh, organize our workspace a little bit here let's eliminate the unneeded file names right now let's um, move down the timeline editing area we're going to be editing together two video clips and we don't need it so that we can see you know six or seven stacked sections of the timeline there we want you to be able to see as good as you can what's going on on the screen so we'll expand it out a little bit and let's look at what we've got to work with a little bit setting up the tripod making all sorts of noises trying to get it stabilized locked down and uh, trying to move away from the camera not to add my my uh, breathing uh, or uh, my hat scraping along the camera um, just trying to give you the best chance possible to listen to this uh, uh, beautiful bird sitting there and just singing you always have uh, background noise today we're dealing with a little bit of wind and uh, winds hard to get rid of from a recording uh, some of the background noise we can uh, kind of uh, take out so that uh, you're not having to listen to and deal with that though and uh, we've got two clips uh, clip number one he flies off let's move clip number one down here to the timeline and uh, with it now you can actually see the audio track underneath and you can see the audio so when you're listening to a bird call you see the white level and the audio pop up and there I'm actually I believe scraping my hat brim across the microphone on top of the camera <laughs> And uh, now the camera's set up and I moved away from the camera. And now it quiets down a little bit and we can hear the bird better. This is uh, normally 30 seconds of nature screencast, but with this uh, wonderful bird singing for us today and having more than 30 seconds, I believe we're going to come out somewhere between 30 seconds and a minute. But uh, we can do that if we really want to uh, hear this uh, beautiful bird singing a little better let's just shorten out the clip eliminating the uh, extra noises we don't want let's just shorten it up just a little bit more here and just grab it eliminate just a little more from the beginning there start right off the clip with him starting to sing now at some point in the clip I know the wind starts kicking in and you can almost see it in the audio there when the audio gets really uh, jagged looking like what's coming up right now uh, we're gonna have the wind there we go and I just know from experience that uh, I'm just not going to be able to, to clean that out stays with us there a little bit the wind 
and there he moves off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just grab um, this end. Let me see if I can grab it right. There we go. And uh, let's move it so that we kind of eliminating the, uh, and that's right on 30 seconds, isn't it? Now we could make our, our 30 second nature video right here. But we have this second clip to work with, and uh, I know the bird does a lot of cool singing in this second clip. So let's uh, let's just listen to that. And there again, I'm setting up the tripod, getting it locked down, pointed at the bird, and then uh, so we know that. Uh, first part of the video. We're just going to edit that out and let's listen again to see how it transitions. Right. He's got his back turned to us. So I actually think it's a quieter uh, on the track you can't hear him as well unless he turns around and looks at us and when he does turn around and look at us he uh, isn't singing <laughs> he's just kind of listening to the other birds in the area so uh, let's bring this back into the timeline yeah, he gets quiet there and just doesn't want to sing anymore so let's cut her down here I believe what we're we're dealing with here is a uh, almost a minute worth of uh, video. It's just he he's kind of mouthing the songs. <laughs> he's not really being loud about it. Let's just see what we've got there. Let's, Let's just put her right at a minute. All right, so we're getting narrowed down. Now, framing and composition wise, as you can see, he's uh, off to the right, lower right. So I think what we're going to do here is we're going to select this clip and we're going to go to the uh, video editing tools and we're going to turn on crop. Now the trick to Final Cut Pro and using the crop is you want your selector to be somewhere over the clip. If you have it down here in the timeline and you select crop, uh, you can't really see what's happening too well. So. <laughs> you get confused so you really want it over the section you're going to try to try to take care of you want to make sure that's selected so that the crop only affects that and now let's turn on we can trim here we can crop and we can Ken Burns affect it um, we could use a Ken Burns effect to give you uh, let's try that today let's let's uh, use the Ken Burns effect and what what it's uh, equivalent of is we're going to pan in and uh, look at a, a cropped version here with him better composed and when we uh, start let's flip this around so that the start is the entire screen and you can see up here we have a a little flip tool that uh, can swap the start and end of our crop that we're going to do, our Ken Burns effect. So what we want to do is we want to start it full screen and we want to end it uh, with him a little more positioned and uh, now if we go beyond the end of the screen then we end up getting a black bar and uh, we don't want that. Let's just see at the end of the, the video here. He's he's uh, not moving around too much. The, 
the trees moving and blowing in the wind, but uh, I think that'll be close. Let's hit done and let's see what that looks like now. And it's a fairly long clip, 30 seconds, so um, the effect of uh, zooming in happens slowly. the next clip. Now let's go back to the first clip here and uh, let's let's uh, take what we've got there and uh, let's throw it into an image stabilization just to see if it takes some of the movement out that that's there. I know the branches in the foreground are kind of moving around and we're not going to Let's see if image stabilization uh, gets confused with all those branches moving around. It goes through a process of analyzing for the dominant motion on the, on the video. And it will go through a rendering process that uh, there you can see it cropped in a little bit. And that is usually a sign that it was taking out some of the motion. And uh, rather than see... Uh, the motion around the edges, it kind of crops in a little bit. And uh, the rendering process is where it goes through now and re-renders to give you the best picture as possible the uh, the results that we're, we're looking for here. Um, and it's a 30 second clip, so it takes a little bit of time to get through and render that. And then what we're going to do is go in and we're going to try to clean up the audio a little bit then too on this clip and uh, we might be able to uh, really uh, increase the volume on his singing a little bit and clean up the background just ambient noise in the setting that we're in there now let's take a look at what we've got to work with here and see how it came out so he's fairly stable. The branches are still moving around, but I think there's less motion to the whole picture, which is what we want. We want to kind of lock in the bird and have him steady. Just lose focus for an instant there, but there's not much we can do with that, with wanting to keep the uh, song intact. And then he's off to the next shot there so all right let's uh let's move on to the next shot and see how we can compose this one kind of tails almost out of focus when you're uh using a point and shoot like I am with a 50 times optical zoom on I'm actually looking entirely through the tree and the challenge is you've got to focus your subject and the focus mechanism is always trying to focus on something other than the bird so what I had to do in this case is I had to find a big massive object about the same distance as I thought the bird was. Point the camera at it and get it focused and it focuses easily on big massive objects in the screen. And hold the focus by keeping the uh, shutter button held down and move the camera over to where the the bird was and then the camera will most of the time jump and focus in on what you're trying to do. So you're actually looking through a tunnel of branches, but the camera isn't trying to focus on any of those branches or the background branches. It's trying to focus on your subject. So it's a technique that we can use to work with the autofocus where um, if you ever watch me working, 
you often see I'm pointing the, the camera at a completely odd place and then I'm pointing at the subject and then I'm pointing away at an odd place and then I'm pointing at the subject. What I'm doing is trying to establish the focus point so it's close and then when I observe the bird and he's in the the view of uh, my viewfinder there uh, then it's more likely to focus in on him. It takes practice 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 uh, when you're when you're using the camera and you're using that autofocus to its maximum. With the point and shoots the uh, manual focus oftentimes is at best clumsy uh, clumsy to use so uh, learning how to point and focus <laughs> is the thing that you just have to practice 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 and uh, I did it by just do it over and over and over again and challenge yourself to get anything anywhere in focus and uh, you'll start having some successes and then after a while it just comes second nature point away point at point away point at um, hold the hold the focus hold the focus and you're really doing this in the non record mode you're doing this in the camera mode and the idea is you want to get that focus somewhere close to where it needs to be and when you go into video record mode it tends to hold that focus point that you had established before so just a little bit on how we we get shots like this that most people if they were standing beside me would knowing their camera would just consider it impossible but uh, you should be able to figure out over time and practice how to zoom <laughs> from 60 70 feet away zoom right through the tree branches so that you can see the bird and and get them focused uh, okay enough on the camera technique let's get back to what we were doing here poorly composed photo kind of almost out of focus uh, tail so it's not going to hurt us to lose some of the tail in the previous shot we zoomed in pretty tight so I think we want to just ma maintain a, a tight zoom here rather than doing the Ken Burns effect all over again we're kind of establishing a, a tight shot so let's uh, go into the uh, crop mode here and let's do a just a regular crop we're gonna go down here and just grab the, the corner we're grabbing and moving the frame sometimes this happens where I can't really grab it easily and uh, let's just see what we're working with here a little bit I think if we move the uh, pointer down the timeline a little bit we've got them we don't want to crop in too much it just kind of takes away some of the sharpness in the picture and uh, he's not completely centered there but I think we're gonna make it work with that let's just look at it here now I'll go from this uh, crop and tightness okay and we've got audio levels that are distinctly lower here got that ambient noise of the background which is mostly highway noises in the distance I believe Let's uh, let's see what we can do with the audio with these two clips a little bit. Let's take the first clip and we'll go up here to the audio set of tools. And here we can uh, do a bunch of things. Uh, we have a noise removal, hum removal. Hum will take out camera noises sometimes uh, uh, effectively. Um, the noise removal though may take out just that background ambient noise din that's there 
So let's take and just hear that background noise. Let's take and turn turn that. Let's just turn it up a little bit and see if we can just get rid of the background noise and leave the song in. Now let's finish our crop first. There we go. We've done a fairly good job at taking out that background noise. Let's just crank it up a little bit and listen again. Let's... Right at the beginning, we can hear a little bit in the background, but then it quiets down pretty much. You can definitely hear the difference in the ambient noise. Let's uh, also apply that uh, noise removal to uh, that one and just kind of uh, see where we're at. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to select both of these clips and I'm going to turn the loudness on. What loudness does, it tends to bring up the audio levels and make them uh, the peaks more equal and it takes a quiet section and just kind of brings it up to where you want it to be. You could see the audio tracks uh, are actually popping up a little bit um, down here at the bottom, these audio tracks with the loudness turned on I actually popped up a little bit. Let's see what we're dealing with here now. just heard something I <laughs> we've got uh, a little scratching noise right there let's let's just try to edit out the scratching noise and let's uh, take an engine we can add uh, our time back at the end here a little bit let's see if we've going to put a dissolve in there so it'll on the video end of it it'll transition a little better and uh, okay let's listen to that over again so it brought up the audio levels with the loudness he's cranking in there at about the same rate and loudness Quieted down quite a bit. I like that uh, little call right at the very end there. Okay, let's uh, finalize this a little bit. 
we want to take a cross dissolve and a cross dissolve is that effect where you transition uh, from one to the other we're going to just drop that right between our clips there and let's see what that looks like there we go just hear a little pop of wind there puff of wind but uh, I think we've really cleaned up that audio quite a bit. We can, we've isolated out and can really hear the song. Got rid of a lot of that ambient noise. Let's throw a dissolve at the end to make people realize that the video's over. I produce short videos and really to make them realize it's over. I like just putting the dissolve at the very end. And then we know that the video is over. I believe we have another 30 seconds of nature video in the can.